Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Ali. Today I have a mega massive monthly unboxing review haul for March and I am very, very much excited for this content. Today I have close to, if not 10 or more boxes. So I'm going to cut this intro short and just get right on into it because I feel like this video is already going to be over an hour long. I would just like to say before jumping on into the unboxings that if you guys are interested in any of these brands, any of these boxes, any of these companies, just check out the description for your one-stop shop. I'm going to put all the information for all of the companies, brands, and boxes that I am showcasing right in the description. I will put timestamps. I will say whether or not the box was sent to me for reviewing purposes, whether I purchased the box with my own money, if I have any coupon codes, if I have any affiliate links, their socials, I will put everything in the description. And as always, if you have any pressing questions after watching this video just place them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible now without further ado I don't even know where to begin let's just get on into this we're gonna start off with a boxy charm today this is the boxy charm boxy luxe box if you guys are unfamiliar boxy charm is a makeup slash skincare subscription service you will get four to five full-size products sent to your doorstep every single month but then once a season if you pay the upcharge which i believe is fifty dollars you can upcharge to the boxy lux box and you will get many many more items and the retail value is crazy and all the items are supposed to be geared towards the season that you are in so this is the boxy lux box for spring 2021 I almost said 2020 but girl we are out of 2020 the theme for this month slash season is lucky and without spoiling all the items I will just tell you the retail value of all the items inside of here inside of here we have items that range from $50 $42 $36 $31 hundred fifty dollars eighteen dollars eighteen dollars and forty two dollars so I'm gonna move a little bit closer to the camera I'm gonna cut half of my head off but I want to be able to give you an up close and personal view of all of these items the first thing is the Barbarella eyeshadow palette you typically will always get an eyeshadow palette inside of one of these boxy luxe boxes typically you will get one inside of the boxy charm box as well I'm actually very much impressed with this one. They're all colors that I would pretty much use. A lot of times when we get these boxy luxe boxes, we will get these palettes and the colors are like so out of my comfort zone. We'll get a lot of colors that are like neon and really fun to play around with, but I'm kind of like a plain Jane when it comes to makeup and I go for more of the neutrals. So this is actually going to be perfect for me. Next up, we are, oh my God, that's so cute. I will save that one for last. We are getting a mini heat brush. I love these heat brushes. I have one of these actually, like the larger version, and it surprisingly works really, really well. This is like a little mini, I would assume, travel version of it. And I really like this bright, bright orange color as well. So this is from Soleil, I believe it is called. Oh, I really am really really impressed so far. Okay, we have a bunch more items next up is the 24 karat gold limp plumping mask lip Plumping mask. This is really pretty. It's a very glittery very shimmery and there are like little stars inside It kind of reminds me of like my childhood when we would put all those stars over our eyes I think that's actually making a comeback and your girl is here for that comeback So this is what it looks like and apparently it's a mask for your lips Never heard of that, but I'm not mad at it. All right. We have one two three four five more items the next one is from Dominique, and if I sound a little raspy, allergies are getting the best of me right now, like so, so bad, and I apologize if I sound very deep and very raspy. I'm just um, really being affected by allergies right now. This is Dominique, and it looks like it is a creamy fill and define lip liner, and it's actually my perfect perfect color this is the color that i wear pretty much daily it is kind of like a deep mauve color let me see if i can get my camera to focus on that but yeah it's like this deep mauve color let's do a little bit of a swatch that almost matches up perfectly to the color that i'm wearing right now i actually feel like i look a little bit puffy right now allergies are straight up not my fan and not my friend right now next up we are getting something from rihanna the fenty beauty line this is very exciting what is this Ooh, 
Ooh, we are getting a Fenty Beauty foundation. <laughs> what? This is a soft matte long wear foundation. I feel like the color is a little off of my color. It's a little lighter, but we can, we can totally make this work. Let's give it a little swatch. Nothing a little bronzer can't fix. So this is what the color looks like. That's a little swatch. I mean, maybe it's not as off as I thought. That kind of actually might work out perfectly. Hmm. I'm very, very excited about this right now. Okay, next up we have the Rose and Quartz Hair Mask. Always here for a good hair mask. As you guys can tell, I am currently growing out my hair and I am growing it out to donate. My goal is actually to cut it in may we are having a moana themed birthday party for my son he is obsessed with maui he is obsessed with moana and i wanted to like cosplay as moana and do my hair really long and curly like hers for his family birthday party so i don't want to cut my hair until after that but after that i plan on cutting it like up to here and then the second that i cut my hair i've donated it twice so far this will be my third time the day after i cut i have instant <laughs> instant regret not that i like donated it. i'm so so happy to do that but then i just miss my hair so much and i do everything in my power to just grow it out as fast as possible so that will include using some hair masks and making sure that my hair is nice and healthy let's open this up and share with you what it looks like inside hopefully it's like a nice rose pinky color it's not it's just white it looks kind of like moisturizer there it is hey who really cares as long as it works there are two items left inside of this a boxy luxe box next is from glow recipe which i personally love this is the plump plump hydrolonic serum deep hydrating and glow so we're getting a little skin serum open it up and share with you it's funny when i first started getting boxycharm we would get a lot of skincare products and i would like not like them at all they would be my least favorite items and oh, this packaging is so cute like i was saying now they're my favorite items usually the skincare items that you get inside of the box are like very luxury or luxury at least for me because i'm a drugstore makeup and skin care gal however since subscribing to boxycharm i have not bought makeup or skincare products in probably close to three to maybe even five years and i love their skincare products so so much this is again the plump plum oh plum plump excuse me hydrolonic serum this packaging is the cutest packaging of any packaging i have ever ever seen before look at how adorable that is okay let's move on to the very last item a little easter egg carton how stinking cute and how on brand for march slash april easter is like the first week in april so this is the beauty bakery blending eggs oh i think these are like little beauty blenders we're getting six six beauty blenders it's not by beauty blender but it is it's a beauty blender if you know what i mean this was a great box i actually want to look at the little card and see what was $150. This mini hairbrush is $150. This is not what I expected at all. I would assume that this would be like $30 at the store at most. I would actually assume it would be like $19.99. But this right here was $150. I mean, all in all, I'm very happy with this box. It is like 10 o'clock in the morning and I have not had a bite to eat for breakfast yet and I am starving. So I'm going to share this box next because it seems pretty on brand for how hungry I am right now. This is a snacking subscription service and it is from The Goods Mart and I like the cute little smiley faces. Nice little personal touch. Inside of here are supposed to be all snacks that are better for you. They're like better alternative snacking options. There is a lot going on in this box in the best way look at how chock full this is so of course i'm not going to go over every single item but i will share with you a majority of what is inside of this box so we are getting the mezelka plant protein bar so we're getting a little protein bar japanese matcha vanilla sounds stinking delicious gigantic salted peanut butter sort of sweet candy bar and i really like the packaging this reminds me of like old school 90s packaging i'm here for that vibe like seriously big mood. 
Next up, we are getting the Forager Project Organic Leafy Green Chips. Super greens with brown rice, kale, and spinach, sesame seeds, ancient grains, and sea salt. I already feel healthier just reading the name of that type of chip. We are also getting the Cheddar Cheese-ish Grain-Free Crackers. These are gluten-free, vegan, nut-free, and dairy free this is from ancient provisions which i believe i've had this brand in the past from whole foods and if it is what i'm thinking of i really enjoyed it we are also getting a fig and balsamic dark chocolate bar what this is flipping amazing and also look at the packaging i'm really liking that brush effect that kind of like brush paint effect on the top good for one free coffee or slushy so if you do subscribe to them you get like little added incentives and you can purchase this in their shop on their website next up is from union whole earth snacks these are pepperoni crisps charcuterie chips with a hint of pepper and spices this box seriously has it all this is a very very fun for me right now look at that and i love pepperoni fun little fact about me i went vegetarian for like two and a half years and the number one thing that i missed was pepperoni i missed it so much don't ask me why but it was the number one thing that i missed along with fried chicken next up we are getting red vines made simple mixed berry twists made with real sugar we're also getting the g well cloud nine refine and chaga relax and rejuvenate superfood tea cookies these are all so stinking cute like i really like all the packaging and they all sound amazing moving on we're getting seriously good sour beers this is from behave with a line striped right through it so don't behave only three grams of sugar and this entire package is only 90 calories and the flavor is lychee and passion fruit and raspberry i think i have to give these to my niece she is obsessed with lychee flavored anything and she loves gummies this next one looks real interesting this is the nemi holly sticks it's kind of like holistic sticks plant powered crunch snack made from cactus in the flavor chili and turmeric this one might be a little out of my comfort zone i will try but i'm a little concerned with that one we have a couple items next we have the nora seaweed snacks tempura and in the original flavor i seriously feel so healthy just knowing that i have all of these in my pantry now <gasps> i love purely elizabeth i actually have her oatmeal pretty much every single day this is the purely elizabeth grain free granola in the set the scent high in the flavor vanilla almond butter made with organic chia coconut flakes and oil delicious taste and nutrient dense ingredients this is a fantastic brand i get this at whole foods all the time and it's so expensive so it's really cool to get this inside of the box and the last two items that we are getting savor get golden one bite at a time this looks like another bar it is a snack bar and it is salty, sweet, chewy, and nutty. And the final two things, actually no, there's a bunch more items in here. They're just packaged up. So let me open that in a minute. This is like the box that just keeps on giving. This is from Tony's Chocoloni. I never know how to pronounce it, but if you've never had these chocolates before, they're epic. They also have these at Whole Foods. Okay, it looks like we're getting three different jars i'm not sure what's inside of these jars but let's find out together the first thing is the organic mushroom latte cacao chocolate oat milk <laughs> i'm interested in this one love me a good chocolate oat milk not sure about the mushroom but you know what help hashtag help all day every day next up we are getting the brighter sparkling acv tonic blood orange acv is that apple cider vinegar i'm pretty sure that's apple cider vinegar and the final thing is broken i'm just kidding it is the fix and fog everything butter hemp almond peanut butter pepita chia sesame sunflower and flaxseed it definitely needs to be shaken up a little bit but let me share with you what this looks like make the most of your toast that's really cute branding so that is everything that is inside of this box i do want to clarify 
I received this box a very long time ago. I want to say I got this in January and I've just been saving it to do like a mega collective unboxing review haul. I don't want to quote that this is a subscription service. I think that this is more of like a goods mart where you go on and you just purchase items and put them into your box like you're just doing an online shopping. So I will clarify that and I will put that in the description but it has been a while since I have talked to this company and I am not sure if this is a subscription service, if they have that option on their website or if it is more of just like a online healthy retail shopping experience. So I will clarify that and I will put it in the description all in all, with all of that being said, everything looks freaking amazing. Okay, before I share the next company and I show what is inside of the next box, we need to have a little bit of a heart to heart right now. We need to have a little bit of a real talk. If you guys are uninterested in this, please feel free to skip over. But I did just want to share with you, I'm having quite a self-conscious day right now. I am not feeling my very best right now. If I keep looking in the viewfinder, that is one of the main reasons why I'm having one of those days, weeks, months that is just a little bit tough for me. And I'm not saying this to be like relatable. I am putting this out there because I want to be real, raw, and honest here on my channel. And I feel like we all go through this. So I feel like I can relate to you and you can relate to me by saying this. However, I just wanted to throw out there that I'm having somewhat of a tough month right now. My anxiety has been through the roof and luckily I have really good coping strategies in place that definitely, definitely help me. But if I seem a little like blah in this video and not my preppy upbeat self, that is why if you guys are new here, I am a teacher. I teach fifth grade and teaching is hard enough as it is, but teaching during a pandemic has proven to be very, very wild. And there are so many things that are going on this year in my teaching career that are just like, a roller coaster like an actual roller coaster and a march kind of hit me really hard it is so true what they say the ides of march like beware of the ides of march march this year has been a full-blown decade for me and on top of that i'm trying to just juggle and balance it all of course i am a mom and being a mom is my number one priority so doing the mom thing doing the career thing doing the social media thing it's all kind of just like keeping it on me right now but i know i'll be better april is right around the corner and i just feel like i need to get through march and things will be better so i did just want to share that because i feel like as i am filming i'm just not 100 percent myself and that is because i am not 100 percent myself right now so with all of that being said let's jump on into the next company the next company is actually going to take my blah to kind of like a ah <laughs> this company i'm really really excited to share this this is from Fire Sign Style and it is a local small business in Rhode Island. So if you guys are new here, you know that I love supporting small businesses as much as I possibly can and it means so, so much more to me when they are local to Rhode Island because I am a Rhode Island girl born and raised. So let me share with you everything that I received inside of this box. It is an online retail apparel shop and they have the cutest things. The first one being this shirt that I am wearing right now. How epic is this shirt? I love this shirt so stinking much it has like that acid wash look to it and it is a louis vuitton inspired type t-shirt it is so cute it's a little oversized i've been loving the oversized look lately you can tuck it into your bra if you want more of a cropped look you can wear it with some biker shorts if you're going for that more like rebel kind of edgy look or you can just wear it as a t-shirt so this is the first one that i wanted to share with you this is what it looks like when my hair is not covering a majority of it and it is so so cute the next thing that i pulled out loving this for me it is a velvet one shoulder long sleeve puffy shirt this is kind of out of my comfort zone and that's why i purchased it because i feel like it's very edgy but it can also be like super super chic and it is so soft like so soft it is like you are wearing butter the next item is also a little out of my comfort zone and I feel like I got a couple of items that are out of my comfort zone and I'm very happy for that. With summer right around the corner and with us being in spring right now, I got a little bralette and I've never really worn a bralette before look at how cute this is i have a vision for this bralette i want to wear this and then wear like a little 
vesty type top over. I know that sounds really weird, but trust me, when I put it all together, hopefully it'll look really cute with some like high waisted jeans. I just think that this is going to look really, really cute. So I have a black bralette next. Of course, my camera would die right in the middle of this clip. I have two items left to share, and this next item is a set and it rains supreme for me. I don't know about you guys, but since this pandemic hit, I have been living in loungewear and this next item is a super cute loungewear set. It's kind of like a silky type satin material and it is a little short and long sleeve shirt loungewear set. I am almost positive this is meant to be pajamas but I am also almost positive that wearing pajamas out in public is now socially acceptable as of 2020 slash 2021. I'm pretty sure you can dress pajamas up now and go in public and look fire. So this is the next set that I have. It is very soft, silky satin, like I said, type material. And it's a really cute contrasty color between the mauves and the pinks and the whites. So I cannot wait to wear this one. And when I do put it on, I will take some shots and I will put them on Instagram to share with you the final item that I am so excited about. Fuzzy slippers. I love fuzzy slippers so, so much. Fun fact, I had about five pairs of these and Jack's pees on every single one of them and I don't know what it is about the fluffy material that he pees on but I have decided that these are not just going to stay on the ground when I'm done wearing them I have a very special place to put them so he cannot go next to them and rip them apart or pee on them sorry for that TMI but again it is real life so these are the fluffy little slippers I love them so much they have the little crisscross design right on the top and they're just Oh, they're so cute. I love them and they're so fluffy and they fit really, really well. I also like the different tones of pinks that you are getting. Very perfect and very, very, again, on brand for spring. So that is everything that I got in the Fire Sign Style box. If you guys are interested, I'm going to link all the information in the description below. We're gonna move on now to a candle subscription service. This is from Vela Box. I have been working with Vela Box for just about I want to say five months now they are again a candle subscription service inside of each of these boxes you will get two candles one large and one small and you will typically get an add-on bonus item as well I love this subscription service so much and out of all of the subscriptions and companies that I share with you this one always seems to get a lot of traction a lot of you guys end up reaching out to me and saying that you subscribe to them as well and that you guys really really like them so this is what it looks like inside the packaging is always very simplistic and very minimalistic which I personally really really love this is the added on extra I'm not quite sure what this is it looks like a reusable cleaning cloth which I will be all for if you guys watched my sustainability video that I put out maybe two months ago I am very much into that reusable lifestyle here are the two candles here is my smaller one and my larger one they're always packaged so so nicely the smaller one is called five o'clock shadow it is amber oak and sandalwood goodness candles i love the packaging what i love about this packaging it is not busy at all it is again very simplistic very minimalistic so it could really really go in pretty much any space of your house This sounds so weird, but this smells like my grandpa in the best way. My grandpa passed away just over a year ago, and he always smelled, he had like a specific smell to him, and it's not like a bad smell. When you hear like that grandpa smell, you think like old musky smell, not my grandpa. This smells like my grandpa. This is kind of, this is really nice actually. I really like that one, it's kind of meaningful to me. I will stop there, I'm not gonna get too emotional, but that one smells really, really good. The next one is called Luna. It is a lavender, a lemon, and cedar, also from Goodness Candles. Same exact brand, just a bigger version, and I love lavender. Yup, yup, loving this one. Loving this for me, I actually have a sleep 
spray. It's called a sleep mist spray and I spray it on my pillow every single night before I go to sleep and it has lavender in it which is supposed to be very calming and it works. I might have to start like lighting this before I go to sleep as well for a couple of hours before I jump into bed so my whole entire room smells like this. I am over the moon impressed with this Vela box. Next up, Lily Pose. This is a book subscription service for your little. One of my favorite subscription services that I subscribe to. I get so, so excited anytime this is delivered to my doorstep. Landon is going to be too on April 30th. Don't ask me how because I don't have an answer for that one. How do we have almost a two year old like time? chill out slow down a little bit we have been subscribed to them since he was just about three months old so we've been with them for the whole of it and they just keep getting better and better and better if you guys watched february's unboxing review haul i did tell you that i tailored his subscription up they have three different tiers on their website they have a board book subscription where you'll get four board books per month and those are geared more towards like infants beginning stages of toddler then they have a picture book which is geared towards like older toddlers slash kids and then they have one right in the middle where you'll get board books but you will also get picture books so I went from the board book subscription and we moved up to the middle category I guess like the tier two category inside of this one you will get one board book and then two picture books last month was the best month we ever ever got and this month looks really cute as well so we are getting little chick and the secret of sleep this is the board book that we are getting. So cute little monkeys. I love the story. Oh, look at the little dragon. How stinking cute. And the elephant. He's going to love this. He's so into animals right now. It is not even funny. Everything is all about animals. This is really, really cute. So this is our board book. This one is for the month of, month of March. I am like losing my mind right now for the month of March. And when you subscribe to them, you can either opt in or opt out of holiday books. We opt in for them, which means around Christmas time, you can get some Christmas books or Kwanzaa books, or you can get some Hanukkah books. Around Valentine's Day, you can get some like love inspired books. In March, you could get some St. Patrick's Day books. And we got the story of the leprechaun. So if you opt out, you probably would not get this book. But if you opt in for holiday specific books, you can get some of these holiday specific books. So this looks really cute. I love, I just love reading with Landon. It is my favorite thing to do with him. It is our snuggle time. We try to read as much as we possibly can throughout the day, but always before he goes to sleep. It is my favorite time of the day. And he's so cute now. He'll read the books over and over and over again. He actually like memorizes it and can say the words as I am reading. So this is the next book. And the final book is when we're together look at all these cute little bunnies i love this so this is the when we're together a book looks like it's going to be a story of when we're all together look at that cute little snowman oh i love this so yeah we're getting two of these picture books and then one board book and i'm already so excited for reading time tonight also i forgot to mention that every single month they do a contest this month it is geared around in the ocean so you basically if you have kids that are old enough decorate this box to make it look ocean-esque for this month and if you win and you're chosen you get a whole slew of prizes that will be sent right to your doorstep. Landon's not at that level yet but I'm really excited for when he is at that level to decorate this box and potentially win all of these awesome prizes. While we're on the topic of kids let me share with you the next box which is Love Every the best of the best I cannot stress this this is the best kid toy subscription service in the game we have been subscribed to love every since Landon was three months old we've received every single box from them and they are so epic so insanely good the way that they curate these boxes is incredible this is what it looks like when you open it up a couple of things about this brand again i will link all their information in the description below but you will get play kits every two or three months depending on how old your child is and they are developed with your child's brain in mind. So they curate these boxes around the toys that are developmentally appropriate for your child and their stage of life. I'm pretty sure 
Don't quote me on this one, but I will make sure that it is correct in the description. I'm pretty sure that they curate these with psychologists. Again, don't quote me on that one. All I can tell you is we love this box. It is a little pricey. I always like to put that out there because it is a little pricey. However, if you've watched any of my playroom tours or any of like my momming type of videos, this is worth the investment. We personally don't buy Landon almost any toys other than what we get in here. We get him a couple of things here and there, but mostly like every single toy that he plays with comes from this box and they are all like Montessori inspired toys. So it's just, it's a win. It is a all over a win in my book. So this is the helper box and it is for months 25, 26, and 27. On the back they give you an idea of everything that you're going to get in here and there's an item here that I'm so excited for and I've been waiting since day one to get it. So let's share everything inside of here. First and foremost, we are getting a book called Making Muffins. Also, if you've watched any of my playroom tours, these board books are Landon's favorite. We read them probably four to five times a day, and we have a little stack inside of his cubicles in his playroom, and they're just, they're the best. So this one is all about making muffins, and something else I would like to throw out about this company, it is very, very inclusive. I love this brand. I cannot say enough about it. Next up, look at these cute little flowers. So it looks like these flowers go along with this block right here. And it's more of like a, it's not stacking, but whatever the word is where you take the flowers and you want to like place them inside of all of these holes. So you can get yourself like a little bouquet or a little like, what is it called when you go outside on the windowsill and you have like flowers on your windowsill? We can put these right on the windowsill in his playroom. Next up, we are getting this, which is, I don't know. Let's find out together. I think it's the Let's Map It routine cards. No, I don't really know what this is. This is what it looks like inside. I think it's markers actually. It looks like a little travel marker kit maybe. This is the Anywhere Art Kit, Encourage Creativity and Find Motor with Colors. So I don't want to open this yet, but it looks like we're getting all of these. I can't tell if it's like paint or chalk. I will play around with it a little bit later, but we have all papers on this side that you can play around with. They kind of look like stampers to me and all of the colors on the other side. Thinking beautiful loving this so much right now next up we're getting this little bag and I didn't even know this was gonna be in here I knew one of the items look at this little item it's like a little connect four block like a little board for connect four and then inside of here you get all the little chips of course you don't use this as connect four it's more to like match the colors up but look at the little Oh, you're getting these little wooden circles and you basically once I put it all together put this in and then they will stay right there um yes I I love we stand is that even like socially acceptable to say anymore I don't know but I stand for that so hard right now you also get your Bible I call this the Bible this is like the parenting Bible inside of here they tell you about like milestones let me go through this they tell you about all of the different stages of life between baby and big kid child and you the play things they tell you more activities that you can do they tell you like developmental stages what you could be doing with your child at this time I love these so much and I save these all for like if we're blessed enough to have another baby I have these all already and let me tell you these are a godsend i have gotten so many activities i remember when landon was like four months old and i would reach out to my friends and be like what do you do to play with a four month old like when he was six months old like what are some sensory activities that you can do with a six month old like i feel like we've read already we've talked already we've done tummy time and in here they just give you so many activities that i never would have thought of and landon has loved them all okay moving on we're getting these little Let's map out our routine cards. And then we're also getting introduction and choosing routines and transitions. So we're getting like all these little transition cards. So like wash your hands, sing a song, get dressed, snack time. And it's kind of just a way to like map out your day through pictures and through words. We're getting a double-sided sunny day puzzle. Open it. Oh, cute. It's like a little bow. So these are just all shapes that you would take out and place back on. He's really into puzzles right now, and this is a perfect puzzle for someone who is almost turning two because they're very big, large, bold shapes. 
not too intricate, which is perfect, again, for a almost two-year-old. We are also getting the two little pieces that you would put on the Connect Four Bard. And then the last item, the item that I'm the most excited for, the item that I was so happy was put inside of this box. Let me share it with you. It's a little super sustainable sink. You have a sink and it actually, I'm pretty sure it actually works. Please read before using the sink made with 54% plant-based material. I'm almost positive this works and you can actually put water in here. I'll have to read up on it a little bit more, but it is a play sink for your child to use to get them used to like being involved in everything that mom and dad are doing. Yeah, so it actually does work. Here's the battery operation. Here's a little sink pedal. I'm not gonna open it all up right now, but this is what it looks like. I'll show you on here what it actually looks like when you put it all together. And yes, you can actually use it as a real sink. Landon is going to lose his mind with this one and this is perfect because you can also use this to pour water in and they can practice drinking with a cup I'm so happy this is definitely my favorite box i've ever received from love every times a million they just get better and better like they're so good check out the description if you guys are interested so I do subscribe to Love Every on my own. However, I do work with the brand and their PR team as well. So I did want to share with you a couple of items that they sent to me for reviewing purposes that you can purchase on their website. They are like added extra items. They are known for their play kits as well as their baby mat i don't know exactly what it is called but they have like this baby play mat that landon loved it is the best baby play mat they have recently started putting more on their website and i wanted to share with you a couple of the items that they sent to me for reviewing purposes so this is the nap mat i'm I again have some visions for this mat. This is what it looks like. It is a little nap mat and when you open it up, it opens up into like a little sleeping mat situation. Landon goes to daycare two days a week and he sleeps on like a little car at daycare and it is the cutest little thing. So I told Adam once he turns two, I want to start doing like sleepovers in the living room and do like movies at night and then like we all sleep together downstairs and I figured this would be perfect for that. I want to do that like once a month or once every other month or once every two weeks depending on how it goes so this will be for Landon they have like a little button system over here and you pop it open and then it just opens up into like the cutest little sleep mat so they have a pillow over here and then they would lay right over there and then a little blanket that just goes right on over it so let me let me get this more into frame for you this is what it looks like perfect size very comfortable all organic and then when you are done you just roll it on up this way i'm learning i'm learning with you guys you roll it on up pillow first and then you just attach it with the little buttons on the side so so cute so this is one of the add-on items that they sent to me that you can purchase on their website look how cute and then it doesn't take up too much space at all so it is really really great it's not like this big bulky sleep mat you can kind of just put it in a closet until you are ready to use it the next item that they sent to me also very very much excited for and probably should have opened these up beforehand let me just open this very quickly this next one is the organic sleep quilt the quilts are so cute and this is going to actually go inside of his crib i will share more about them again when i do that updated baby playroom but this is the organic baby quilt and then they give you a little welcome card on how to share and how to care for this item so this is what it looks like so soft and so stinking fluffy let me open it up right here and share with you just how large this is Can you guys see that? I'm trying to like get it all into frame. It is actually quite large. Let me bring it up a little bit closer to you so you can see like just how fluffy the material is. It's very quilt-like and then this one has animals all over it. They have a bunch of different designs on their website and 
it is multi-use if you flip it over they have a different design if you guys are interested in this company check out the description and then check out some of my mommy and me type of videos here on my channel i have a couple coming up in the near future that i'm really excited about that i will also be showcasing this brand and talking a little bit more in depth about them and what they stand for if you made it this far, you are the real MVP. I have two more boxes and then possibly two more brands I want to talk about depending on how long this video gets. But if you've made it through pretty much all of my rambling so far, you are the real MVP. We are going to move on now to the Women's Collective box. This is the box for spring 2021. I have worked with them once before really amazing brand and let's talk about that packaging that packaging is so cute so i'm going to open it up and share with you everything that is inside of the women's collective box for spring 2021 first of all you get this really cute little sticker i can see you putting this on like a yeti water bottle it says we rise together and then we're also getting a little postcard that you can use either like as a postcard or you could use this just to decorate a space in your house it says support each other's growth and then there's a bunch of different women with a bunch of different flowers and plants loving the design right now okay let's rip on open and see what is inside First up, we are getting a little poster. It says, let's make it together. This is from Gingiber Zest for Your Nest, gingiber.com with love from Arkansas. So again, just a nice little home decor decorative piece that you could either decorate some space with, you could take this into work. It's pretty much just to decorate a space. Next up, we're getting something from Oceanian, which I've received in the past and really am impressed by this brand. This is pair oh these are really pretty oh i like these a lot a pair of gold plated earrings i love that design it's kind of like a contrasty hoop design i'm not sure if my camera is focusing but let me see let's get that to focus right there there you go oh i like these a lot they're kind of like statement pieces. It's a nice little statement piece of jewelry. We're getting a nice little notebook. It says, look to the sunny side. I need this right now so bad. I'm having a tough month. And this is kind of what I need right now. This is from Rough House Print Shop, made in hand by Lawrence, Kansas. So these are all kind of like very local to the United States, which is really nice. And we're having notes on one side and planning for your week on the other side. Nice and simplistic. Moving along, we are getting the, ooh, this is heavy, the Slumber Bath Salt Dried Lavender Buds Geranium Frankincense and Salt Crystals. This is from Moonlit Skincare. This is beautiful. I love this. This is for stress and tension, sore muscles, dry skin, and anxiety. It's like this box was made for me this month. I am all on board for this box. And it looks like we're getting one or two more things. We are getting, look at how cute these coasters are. I'm gonna save this for our future house. I'm not gonna use these now. We're hoping to buy or build within the next like two or three years. And that's not weighing on me at all. That's not adding to my stress at all. But I kind of have a vision, like some Pinterest boards for what I want that next house to look like. And this kind of goes along with the vibe. So these are little coasters as you can see here. And they're just like wooden woven canvasy type coasters. Really cute. I really like this a lot. Okay, and the last thing, I've been wanting one of these for so long. It might just look like what oh hi. Welcome to my life. This might just look like string and yarn on a little wooden spool, but actually what you do is you take a little plant like a little potted plant and you put it right in the center and then you can hang this from the ceiling and it just adds like a really nice piece to your house. Let me see if I can get a picture of it in here. I'm sure they have a picture of it. Yeah. So you can do like a little potted plant and it just adds so much character to whatever room you are in. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that is it. This was a stinking grand slam. I love everything that I received. Sometimes with these lifestyle boxes, you will like like a couple of things. And some of the items are like, oh, I don't know if I'll really use that. I think that I'm going to use every single one of these items on repeat. So well done, Women's Collective Box for Spring 2021. You're winning right now. 
And last, but definitely not least, this hunk a chunk of a heavy box. It is so heavy. I'm going to end this video with the deco crated box. I have two other things I'm just going to share with you briefly after this subscription. The last two are more just like buy on their own items. This is the last subscription that I have for you in today's video. This is the deco crated box for spring 2021. If you guys are unfamiliar, deco crated is a home decor subscription service and they are so good. So this is what it looks like inside. You definitely get your bang for your buck for this subscription service. Look at how much stuff you are getting inside. So let me open it on up. I did share this one on my channel already on a dedicated video because I do get sponsored by this company, but I did want to share it in this collective video as well because I know some people watch that video, not this one. Some people will watch this video and not that one. Stop talking, Allison. Let's start sharing. So this is the first thing that we are getting. Thing. one of the prettiest pillows I've ever received from deco created look at all of these blooming flowers and on the back we have like this tealish blue velvety ish almost type fabric so this is the first thing we're getting a little pillow color cover <laughs> I can't with myself today. We are getting a pillow cover. Next up, we are getting such a cute, I'm looking at this more of like a fireplace accent design. This is really cute. It's going to go right on top of our fireplace and it just says collect beautiful moments. It kind of looks like a bunch of different books. You can use this however you like. I'm going to use this as an accent piece for one of my rooms and I'm pretty sure this is going to go into our living room right on top of our fireplace because I think it just adds so many nice little pieces and will just kind of like bring the whole room together. Next up we are getting this item which at first i had no idea what this was what you do is you open it up and then you put this on top of your dining room table if you are hosting or if you're not hosting it doesn't really matter but you can use this as kind of like a prop to either add decorations on it you can put a bunch of like different tiered foods on here you can use this so many different ways the possibilities are endless this is so heavy and i love how when you're done with it it just folds up and can easily be compacted so it doesn't take up too too much space but i think this is gonna look so cute cute if you have like a little table runner and you put this right on top of the table runner and you're doing like a themed party or you're hosting a dinner party or whatever kind of party it is there are so many different ways to use this i'm kind of thinking about putting like a vase right in the center and then maybe like a charcuterie board you can use this so so many different ways moving on we are getting this right here which is a little frame it's a wooden frame and then it has like a little binder clip right on top and you just click it open and you can put a picture in it whether it is a picture that they are giving you they do give you a picture to put in it but you don't have to use that one the one that they are giving you these cute little flowers on one side and then on the back it says may the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary so you can either use this one to put rain in it or you can use pretty much any kind of pinter probably put these in my bathroom and i'll put them like side by side with a little bit of space in between this is the final item and it is one of my favorite items in this entire box i was like geeking over this item when i did that sponsored dedicated unboxing video look at how cute this is i'm going to use this to pot a plant in it so basically there's just this little vase over here you can even use this as like a garbage bin and put it in your bathroom to kind of like spice up your bathroom a little bit These items are so interchangeable you can use them again so many different ways i know i sound like a broken record but i'm really trying to stress that fact so i'm going to put a little potted plant in here i'm hoping to get one that's about this tall and i'm gonna put this in our living room so that is everything that came inside of the deco created box for spring 2021 i do have a really great discount code if you guys are interested in checking them out for yourself and i will link that in the description but y'all such a good box i would say at this point a good 75 percent of my house is decorated with deco created items
least I have two more items that I wanted to share with you. These are not subscription services. However, I do have discount codes for both of these items and I wanted to include them in the description and include them in this collective unboxing review haul so I could have all of those discount codes up and activated all at the exact same time. The first one being a function of beauty. If you guys follow me but at all, you know that I am no stranger to function of beauty. They are a customizable hair care line and I have been using them exclusively in my hair for the past two years and my hair has been thriving. I would say it's the number one comment that I get whenever I upload a video or a picture on Instagram. How did I get my hair to grow so healthy so fast? And I truly believe it is all because of function of beauty. I've been using them again exclusively for just about two years and they are a customizable hair care line. So I wanted to share with you what they look like. They are simply stunning. I am obsessed with them and they are customizable to the point that you tell them what you want for your goals and then they will curate a shampoo and a conditioner. So I always add in lengthen and strengthen into my hair bio and my hair has grown immensely since then. They also have some add-on extra items that you can purchase out side of the shampoo and conditioner. They have serums, they have leave-in conditioners, and then they have hair masks. So this is a hair mask that I got for this time around for this delivery. I used all of my other one up and I'm so, so excited to have a new one. And also just wanted to mention that these are vegan and cruelty free. So I will link more about them in the description, but this is what my package looks like. I got my shampoo, my conditioner, my hair mask, and then you also get your little spigots to kind of help you with portion control. And then last but not least, they always include stickers, which is just so much fun. You put these all over your shampoo, your conditioner, your added extra whether it's the serum whether it is the leave-in conditioner whether it's the hair mask they just give you cute little stickers they're so precious I almost made it I have one more to film what you guys don't see if this video is an hour long on YouTube and I'm pretty sure it's going to be more than an hour that means it probably took me close to three hours to film so this is the last item that I'm going to be sharing with you with my sanity still intact. This next item is the Our Place Pan. And I have been loving this item so, so much. I got a sponsorship with them and I mentioned this in the sponsored video. I feel like I manifested that sponsorship. I have been wanting this pan for so long and then they reached out to me and it was just like a match made in heaven. I did put this completely back in its original packaging for aesthetic unboxing purposes. But let me share with you what it looks like when you open it up. This pan is the pan to end all other pans. It is a non-stick pan. It is pretty pricey. I'm not going to lie to you. It is a very expensive pan. However, it is a pan that is supposed to replace eight other cookware pieces. So it is totally, totally worth the investment. And it is made with all natural, I don't want to say all natural items, but it is non-toxic. That's the word that I was looking for. So right in the front, you get your little scrubber in case you need this. And then you get a little bit more about the brand and how to use and clean your item. And then when you take it out, you have your beautiful, beautiful pan. This is what it looks like. You get a steamer basket right in the center. This thing has been very well loved since I have received it. And again, it's pretty much the only pan that we need to use in our kitchen now non-stick non-slip and then we have our little steamer basket and then we have the top portion of it match made in heaven so this is what it looks like the final thing that you will get if you purchase this item is this little spatula and then the spatula has a hole on it so when you're cooking you can just kind of like place it right there to rest it while you are cooking and you can use it as needed so i did want to include this in this unboxing review video because i do have a discount code for you and i will link that in the description below if you guys are interested Wow, I made it. I did it. You guys made it. You did it. Like we we did this together. We're all in this together. We made it through this very long, lengthy unboxing review video. These are some of my favorite videos to film. If you guys have been watching long for quite some time, this is what I built my channel on. I had a solid two maybe even three years where I filmed only unboxing videos and it was so fun. So anytime I film one of these like 
mega massive unboxing review hauls. It's kind of a little bit nostalgic for me. Today I apologize that I'm just not in the right mind space but I knew if I didn't film it today I probably wouldn't get around to it for like another month or so because time is very limited. So if you guys understand that I really do appreciate it and if I was kind of scatterbrained today I already explained to you why what I am going through. But yes that is it for this video. I love you guys to the moon and back. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Please Please let me know in the description below in the description below hi in the comments below I'm telling you my brain is like it is like doing a hundred million things at once right now but please let me know in the comments below if there are any types of videos that you would like to see me film in the future besides these unboxing videos besides my Disney videos besides like all the videos that I already have on my channel let me know if there's anything that you would like to see because I would really like to include that on my content creating list with all of that being said thank you for supporting me thank you for supporting me even when I am having tough days slash weeks and thank you for just being you I love you guys to the moon and back I hope that you're having an amazing day and I look forward to talking to you all soon bye guys